right? We have a bunch of red flags. We have a bunch of questionable behaviors. We have a bunch of messages, uh, a bunch of conversations, a bunch of altercations, and maybe some things in our permanent record and that we're not necessarily proud of. But that was the old you. And you know, I'm, I'm a very firm believer in that people do reserve the right to feel however they want to feel about you especially if they had to share time and they had to share space with you. If they were at all affected by any of the decisions that you made in the past that maybe involved them, they're allowed to have their reservations about you. And they also reserve the right to hear that maybe you've gotten sober and maybe you've, maybe you're, you're turning a new page and maybe that you're you're uh, you're choosing better things for yourself and you're trying to raise your own bar, right? You're trying to do make all these self improvements. They're allowed to hear all of this and also say, yeah, right. But it's up to us to prove to first and foremost ourselves that we are a better person. And that doesn't that's not at week three. I hate to burst your bubble. <laughs> it's not at week three. It might not be at month three either. We got to get some positive momentum behind us because really in the grand scheme of things, what is what is three months compared to three decades of poor decisions? What is three months compared to the last three years of you maybe being uh, emotionally abusive or verbally abusive or maybe even physically abusive, maybe abusing, you know, obviously you're abusing your health, abusing your uh, abusing your finances and allowing yourself to be toxic, maybe mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, right? So we have a lot of things that we have to work on, but now being sober gives you the clarity to start to work on those things, to actually assess the damage and know how much that you've done to not only yourself, but to many other people and start to approach from different angles and different perspectives. Cause all of life, you just saw everything through your rose colored glasses through your beer goggles and everything was a little bit foggy wasn't it everything was a little bit hazy you had the brain fog going on you were keeping yourself purposely blind to all of the things that you were doing because part of it was you also had to cope with being you you had to cope with being that person that you were you had to be the co person you had to cope with the person who wasn't financially responsible you had to cope with the person who was letting maybe down their family who maybe wasn't the best parent or maybe who wasn't the best child, right? Best brother, best sister, whatever it was, maybe not the best employee, maybe not the best employer. So it was every day we were trying to numb ourselves from the pain of our life and our life decisions. And stepping into adulthood, we would all came to this conclusion that the best tool for practically everything was alcohol for a good time for a relaxing time alcohol was there alcohol was alcohol was there with you at every concert with every makeup with every breakup right with every celebration of a new job and every time that you lost that job alcohol was there wasn't it if nobody else was there alcohol was there and if other people were there alcohol was probably there too this has been a clip from our sober live stream and live chats hosted for two hours every friday and sunday from 7 to 9 p.m eastern right here only on youtube